Hello, everybody. Jonathan Kaminga finally put it all together in his best game yet as a warrior, combining defensive dominance with electrifying dunks. It starts off a little shaky, simple pick and roll, but Kaminga's man in the corner here is going to lift up to the wing. There's a threat that the roller can come in, and so JK is sinking into the paint. Now his man is snuck away from the corner. JK has to recover all the way out. He's so athletic that he can cover a quarter of the court just like that. Ball handler attacks the closeout, tries to bully his way through Kaminga. Kaminga showing some admirable strength not to get dislodged here and just keep his hand up here without fouling. And finally, the attacker gives up and Draymond has kick save here. here the big Nas Reed is screening Jordan Poole to get him off of Noel over here, who's going to turn the corner. So you might think that's no problem, JK can just switch to Noel, but that will leave Jordan Poole guarding the big Reed. So Kaminga does switch, but Poole is trailing the ball. Here's Reed trying to spring free. Draymond bumps over to guard Reed. Poole still trying to catch up to the ball. JK still walling off the attacker. This attacker is contained and so he's going to try to switch back to Reed and then Draymond is going to get off Reed and try to box out Gobert. Pretty smooth stuff. Speaking of Gobert and Draymond, Gobert's going to get a foul for whacking Draymond in this rebound. JK showing some more coordination with Draymond. Stagger dribble handoff where there's one screen for D'Angelo Russell. This man's going to come over and set a second screen. This screen is going to nail Clay. So JK switches over to D'Angelo Russell, which I don't know if Minnesota wanted that, but for sure Kaminga wanted that. He just loves being the person to guard whoever's got the ball. D'Lo tries to go across and get JK up with a ball fake, which completely works. Kaminga goes up, and at this moment Draymond sees that Kaminga's left his feet, and he just quickly switches over to D'Lo. That is just fast thinking, and this is a great contest on D'Lo. But what's to stop Gobert from just dunking this rebound in? Well, JK sees Draymond a switch, so he's going to switch over to Gobert. He goes in with his butt wump and tries to push Gobert under the basket. That's a pretty good move. And then it's just a matter of strength. JK is using assistant coach Dejan's preferred method of boxing out where you go sideways to the man and you ward them off with one hand so that you have another hand free to go for the ball. <laughs> the ball actually hits the ground, but Kaminga is completely committed to pushing Rudy Gobert away from this ball. Jordan Poole missed his chance to reward JK. JK started off even with Gobert and now he's ripped off a huge lead. A good pass over the top would leave JK a free path to the basket. I don't know who would be brave enough to get in the way of that, but it doesn't happen. I don't know why Draymond is trying to get Clay to not guard this attacker, but Draymond switches over, and that leaves the big Nas Reed over here to be covered by Jonathan Kaminga. That means Clay's guarding nobody because Draymond bumped him off. And look who just entered, it's the French rejection. He's guarded by no one coming down the middle. A little bit of confusion, Draymond and JK go to Gobert. Nice lateral movement by JK. Draymond heels off to guard Reed. Gobert passes way too high. Wiggins didn't trust, so he rotated in all the way from the weak side, which leaves the hot shooting Noel open completely. And this, this causes Clay and Jordan Poole to close out to Noel, which is bad defense, but once Noel misses the shot, Jordan Poole is leaking out and Clay is leaking out right behind him. Andrew Wiggins just has to throw it into the backcourt and someone will pick it up. Steve Kerr does something interesting. He subs the starters back in, but without Draymond because Draymond needs a rest, and he leaves Jonathan Kaminga in. Looney smoothly switches on to Edwards, but Edwards is gonna pull a sweet move on him. Little Euro step, one step, two step. He's going to get around Kevon Looney, but JK feels empowered to leave Nas Reed in the corner and swoop over to contest this. I don't think Edwards expected to see JK suddenly appear there, and he just floats his way higher than he wanted to. And JK insta- hops up to contest this rebound, which makes Anthony Edwards miss the putback. And then third jump, Insta hops up, grabs the rebound. What a play. One of the hard things about the Warriors offense is trusting that if you give the ball up to somebody, you'll eventually get it back. JK comes up after that great play, but doesn't just drive on his man. 
He tries to do a little dribble handoff to Jordan Poole. The big read has to stay with JK, because in this lineup, JK is one of the bigs. Jordan Poole with a quick throwback. Good angle on this pass to let him attack down the sideline. Reed just takes one misstep in this direction, and that is enough to be doom. Give Carl Anthony Towns credit. He does try to go up and block this. He's turning and loading up the ball on his right side to throw it down. But then as Cat comes over, he says, I still have time on my flight. I'm going to slightly reroute my journey to Dunktown. And he swings the ball back over here so that Cat can't reach it. Kaminga has more hang time than a hovercraft. Pool locks and trails over this screen. And JK says, oh, I can't take a chance. I got to guard this guy. I'm also pretty pumped up from that dunk. Pool still trailing. Kaminga contained and trying to split the difference between the big behind him and Austin Rivers. Austin Rivers wants no part of trying to finish over Kaminga, so he dishes the ball to the cutter down the baseline, and this should be a dunk, right? Well, Kaminga just swivels at hyper speed. Reed tries to power through Kaminga, but he actually bounces off Kaminga. That is some strength. Reed has to eject the ball, so he throws it back into Reed on the post with Kaminga, and Kaminga plays respectable defense here, but just a really nice move from Reed. Just a little too aggressive for Kaminga for the foul and one. And he's trying to explain to the ref that Reed had an offensive foul by spinning around with his elbows out. Oh, I like this Jordan Poole with the sympathy elbow saying, yeah, my man Kaminga got elbowed. This play is low-key pretty cool too. Anthony Edwards is not putting up a lot of resistance here, but the ball takes a funny bounce. And so now it could be a 50-50 ball, but Kaminga wards off Edwards with one hand and then with his right hand reaches over and just one hand Odell Beckham Jr.'s this ball out of the air. <laughs> and he comes down with a one-handed gather. That is gorgeous. D'Angelo Russell is getting by Looney on the perimeter. Reed tries to space out to try to pull Kaminga with him, but that is never going to happen. JK knows he's the last man, and so D'Lo now decides to try his luck against Kaminga, and luck denied. A lag pass to Carl Anthony Towns running top speed. Jonathan Kaminga, though, is sitting on the nail, stopping Towns from going by Looney. JK is low-key relying on his athleticism to leave his man, Anthony Edwards, all the way out here, trusting that when the kickout comes, he can recover and stay with Edwards through any kind of closeout attack that he does. That is some confidence there. And it's something Kaminga is still feeling out. What are his limits? Edwards with a little shoulder fake, sidestep, and Kaminga, even though there's a little bit of space here, he goes up fast and Edwards misses it so badly that it takes this wacky side bounce. And Kaminga, I love that he did not leak out. He stayed behind to make sure that this ball got collected. Kaminga brings this up and doesn't find that he can get anything quick, so he flows this into a play. It's gonna turn into one screen, two screens for pool across the top, the stagger screen. The Timberwolves try the same pick and roll defense that Kaminga was using. Here's a screen, pool going. D'Angelo Russell is locked and trailing the ball handler. Call Anthony Towns trying to contain this drive and then recover to his man. Simple bounce pass to Looney. Carl Anthony Towns is no Kaminga. He cannot spring back into the play. This defender has to rotate off of Kaminga. Looney, little bounce pass and the gentle dunk. The JK looks such a funny combination of super athletic puppy dog, hustle, aggression, and like cartoon character because every time he realizes someone is cut in an unexpected way, you can see this gigantic exclamation mark for him above his head and he'll kind of like do this whole body double take whoa this is the dream for Kaminga the guy who can hang with the centers for short bursts but then he can also switch on to D'Angelo Russell and get right up in his face D'Lo throws a couple of dribbles on him and says ah heck with it let's go to plan b so Kaminga would continue to make mistakes and some great plays for the rest of the game. If he keeps on playing like this, we're going to see more and more of him. Let's go back and have a celebration audit on that Jonathan Kaminga dunk. Draymond is so excited, he starts to just bounce off people. And the first person he runs into is Steph. And he gives you I love you man hug and chest bump to Steph. Steph says I love you too, but I want to get a front row view and start yelling directly in my comrade Kaminga's face. 
So there's Steph. It's no surprise that he and Draymond eventually got technicals for being on the court celebrating. We got Moses Moody. He's always got angry man celebrations, and here he's got angry man flexing, showing his muscle. Draymond has stomped over past Steph. And it's Steve Kerr has gotten up. Draymond is so excited. He's going in for the chest bump on Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr is old now. I don't know if he can survive this chest bump. Draymond seems to realize that it would be medically wrong to full power chest Steve Kerr. And so he slows it down into a mild chest bump and a big I love you man hug. And Steve Kerr is trying to absorb the impact and also tell Draymond, I love you man, but you smell like a dumpster full of sneakers, so I'm just gonna hug and push you away at the same time. 